everybody so today I'm going to be doing the third video on the set of three uh, Dowin bowls that I got and I've got my colors right here the first color I have is from Folk Art and it's 14 karat gold the second one is um, quinacridone blue violet from Liquitex and then also from Liquitex is quinacridone magenta I also have a canvas down so I will be doing a painting as well and if I add any other colors I will let you know in the description um, depends on how much paint gets on the canvas if I'm gonna need any more alright so I'm gonna go get a few things prepared and I'll be right back okay guys so I got my bowl ready I just put it on a cup and then set it down and the only prep that I did to the bowl was I washed it with 91% isopropyl alcohol that's all I did and um, my colors are mixed with Liquitex pouring medium Floetrol in water no silicone was added to any of these colors either so I'm just gonna get started and I'm gonna start with this purple the blue violet and I'm not gonna start from the top I'm gonna start from maybe a, a halfway a half inch or an inch from from the well it's the bottom but the top of the bowl <laughs> hopefully I made enough because I don't have a lot of this For some reason I didn't make a lot of this purple so we'll see how this goes Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and let that drip for a few minutes and I'm going to move the bowl and then I will be back. Alright? Okay guys, so I moved the bowl and I went ahead and I took some of my Folk Art White Pearl and put it all the way around. And what I'm going to do now, just going to mess around a little bit, see what, see what happens. I'm going to take my bare satin enamel, um, half satin enamel, half artist loft flow acrylic put a little bit of that in the cup and I put a little bit of the magenta a little bit more of that got a little bit of purple left so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there A little bit of gold, not much, there's a lot of gold on there. And then a little bit more of the half satin enamel, half artist loft. And then in this empty spot, I know I got more paint than the hole, but I'm just going to go ahead and do a ring pour in the middle.
Okay guys, so it's been about half an hour and I will take you in for a little bit of a close up. You can see the bowl has a little bit of texture to it. So I waited till it was um, starting to dry and I just went ahead and dripped some more gold over top of it. I think it looks really cool. I wanted each bowl to be different. So I like that. All right, and then here's the painting. You got some cool uh, detail on here. I got cells and I got the, um, the rings. And then I got some a uh, little bit of cloud effect. So that's kind of cool. And I love these colors. Looks really, really pretty. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and let these both dry. And I will be back. All right, stay tuned. Okay guys, so here's the painting and the bowl all dry. Take you in for a close up to the painting first. It's really cool detail. We got the cells that came up and then I got some cloud effect a little bit from the ring pour and also in the ring pour, I'm not sure if you guys can see it that good, but there's fine gold lines in there. It looks so cool. I just love how these colors blended so nicely. So I'm super happy with that. And then also the bowl turned out amazing. Um, I waited until the bowl started to dry a bit and then I dripped more gold down it and you can see, I'm um, hopefully you can, <laughs> The, that created some texture on the bowl. So it turned out really, really cool. And if you guys are interested in making um, any purchases from Dow and any of their dinnerware, uh, at the checkout, just use uh, Tracy20 and you will get 20% off of your purchase. So that link will be in my description. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.